1995, Brian Singer's genre-busting thriller The Usual Suspects was released to critical acclaim and box office success. But for nearly a quarter century, fans have been left to ponder one of the biggest mysteries in cinema history. Just who was Kaiser Soze? Pages upon pages of forum threads have been generated debating the true identity of this enigmatic villain. But what all the fan theorists have missed is the hidden meaning in the film's final minutes. Throughout The Usual Suspects, Chaz Palminteri's character, Agent Kuyan, has tried and failed to unearth the alter ego of Kaiser Soze. But watch carefully after Kuyan inexplicably drops his coffee cup. Notice as he begins perusing random items on the wall. But are they random? If you'll remember, Kevin Spacey's character, Verbal Kint, was seated across from these items for the entirety of the film. One such item, the quartet brand of the bulletin board, seems innocuous, but is it? Earlier in the film, Verbal Kint mentions that he was in a barbershop quartet in Skokie, Illinois. You know, back when I was in that barbershop quartet in Skokie, Illinois. You don't think I know you? In fact, if you listen carefully during the sequence, you can almost make out an audio fragment hinting back to that conversation. And tell me every you know, last back when I was in that barbershop quartet in Skokie, Illinois. Did you miss it? Let's watch that again, with the audio enhanced. Me every you know, last back when I was in that barbershop quartet in Skokie, Illinois. Just a coincidence? We thought so too, until we noticed this, which happens mere seconds later. Guatemala. Funny word, right? But isn't it also the name of a Central American country where Verbal Kent claimed to have picked coffee beans? The film's shooting script provides confirmation. Getting pretty spooky, right? Well, that's nothing compared to this. Does this police sketch of Kaiser Soze remind you of anyone? K-Pax. That's right, it's Kevin Spacey, the very same actor who plays Verbal Kent. Taken separately, all this evidence may seem disconnected, but when pieced together, these seemingly random footprints are actually the tracks of one man who, after 22 years, can elude justice no longer. Verbal Kent is Kaiser Soze. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for watching our investigation. Yes, thank you. You know, it's not just us. This is not a two-man job. We've got a whole team working behind us. We've got audio engineers. We've got artists. It's a real team effort. Our grant from the Shellington Investigative Foundation helps a lot, but it does not cover all the bills. Yeah, honestly, if every person that watches this video could kick in $70, $80 a month, we could make maybe one or two of these every, what do you think, three months? Quarter. Yeah. Once a quarter? Once a quarter. Thank you so much for watching.